All right, hello all, uh, welcome back. I guess uh, let's give it a couple of seconds while everybody joins in. All right, let's go ahead and begin with, uh, with the next session. Uh, I welcome you all again. So this session, uh, we are going to have a little extensive session uh, talking about some of the, uh, one of the interesting tool chains of JMAG, uh, which is JMAG RT. Uh, before I go further, I would quickly uh, say that uh, some of the support options, you can go on to our website, parsersolutions.com. Uh, if you uh, want to look at technical support, uh, we have JMAX support at parsersolution.com and then you can also contact some of our sales in case you have any questions. Um, and some of the resources that you may want to look into uh, based on the presentation uh, I have put in there, you can always refer to jmaginternational.com uh, and uh, you know, a couple of other uh, uh, websites to get more information on. <clears throat> All right. Uh, moving on to the presentation, as the, uh, as the name itself suggests, so we are going to uh, focus more on uh, model-based design and uh, how JMAG is going to cater to this uh, model-based design uh, situation. So uh, starting with uh, looking at the uh, V-model development cycle, uh, you know, we very well understand that today uh, the requirement uh, for a motor is not just uh, high performance, but also uh, how consistent uh, it is with the system. Uh, and we, we very well know that it has become extremely important to achieve reliable design right from the initial stage. Uh, so basically testing machine and control together at early stage of the development cycle uh, by integrating high fidelity model, which is our solution, uh, which is our JMAG RT. Uh, again, model-based design uh, facilitates a collaborative design approach between machine, uh, machine designers and control designers. So therefore, this, uh, uh, this collaboration of work between, uh, you, you know, during the initial phase is highly uh, possible, which basically uh, helps reliable and accurate modeling to attain shorter development uh, and faster development cycles. So what, what does JMAG uh, contribute? JMAG contributes JMAG RT to, uh, to this uh, model-based design and development process. <clears throat> Uh, let's little bit dive into uh, understanding uh, this uh, in, in a more, um, uh, you know, uh, when, when we try to look into spinning the motors, of course, we come across struggles because uh, most of the times uh, what we look at is more, more realistic a model in nature, which is non-linear non in nature, rather than, you know, just a linear model, which, uh, which is based off of some of the textbook equations. Motor parameters vary depending on operating conditions. Uh, therefore, that uh, uh, you know encourages some challenges in motor drive and control simulations. Now, why do these motor parameters are not constant? Uh, it's because you know as current is changing, saturation level of the machine uh, is vary. Uh, therefore, you know uh, as you can see on the graphs, it very very well describes uh, uh, how motor parameters are not why motor parameters are not constant. Now, how can this saturation be considered? We can definitely, uh, you know, uh, satur uh, saturation can be replicated in a system simulation by using parameters from a lookup table. So we can definitely uh, create a lookup table which encapsulates all this uh, uh, saturations and uh, that uh, could be available to use in system uh, simulations. Now, how do we generate uh, uh, these lookup tables? JMAG has a tool chain called as JMAG RT. What is JMAG RT again? Uh, JMAG RT is a tool that generates a high fidelity lookup table for system level simulations and real time modeling. Now, when I say high fidelity, what it actually represents is, is uh, it's more uh, identical to the actual device response. JMAG RT is a model that is created from FEA results, which means it is uh, actually the same model can be used and shared between departments such as motor design, circuit design, and control design. 
So typically, uh, you know, some of the information like torque, inductance, resistance, and iron loss are available in a tabular format, which is a 1D model that, that is actually extracted from either a 2D or 3D uh, FEA model. <clears throat> uh, moving on further, um, you know, this, uh, when JMEG RT actually cap captures highly, uh, JMEG RT creates a highly accurate 1D model that has comprehensive motor characteristics extracted from uh, FEA model, which uh, which we have already seen, that what does it encompass? Is uh, it captures nonlinear effects, saturation, and space harmonics. So uh, together, like you know, as you create this uh, RTT file, is what we call uh, what is generated out of JMEG RT that can be used in your um, you know control modules and system level simulations. JMEG RT is uh, widely supported across uh, three and uh, six phase uh, uh, PMSM machines, uh, three phase induction machines, switch reluctance uh, motors, uh, stepping motor, um, linear solenoids, and if there is any uh, any other model, it, uh, we can also use it in the generic mode of operation of JMEG RT. Uh, couple of examples to look at. Uh, this is a three phase uh, motor where you can see a con uh, current, con uh, current uh, vector control system. Uh, and then you do have the inverter and motor module in which the uh, uh, RT file is dropped down. And uh, this result displays uh, the, uh, you know, the differences between the measurement, uh, the actual measurement, JMEG RT model and uh, LD, LQ uh, uh, basic model. Now the, um, the losses here, uh, basically uh, the additional harmonics caused by the saturation re uh, results in increased losses. Uh, that is captured uh, and closely estimated by uh, uh, JMAG RT. Now, how do we how do we create this RT uh, model? Uh, basically, as I said, you know, it is generated from an FEA uh, model. There are different ways of uh, generating this model. Uh, we have tools uh, which uh, um, uh, which uh, have different methods of creating this JMAG RT. Uh, First one is JMAG Express. Uh, Express is available free of cost online. We have a JMAG Express online mode and an offline mode. You can, uh, JMAG Express again is a template based model, which uh, where you can go and quickly, um, you know, come to, come to a conclusion on a particular design. If you know some, some of the requirements or if you know some details of dimensions or uh, geometry data and uh, some drive conditions and uh, material data and stuff like that. And you can also create a uh, JMAG RT from uh, JMAG Designer, uh, which is a full-fledged finite element uh, analysis tool. Uh, and then we, we will walk you through, uh, you know, a couple of demos you can see. Uh, I'll just uh, finish up with my slide deck and then we will uh, look at some of the demonstrations. And then we have, uh, we can also generate it from uh, a measurement data. And also uh, from our website, we have motor model library. You can download a lot of uh, RT files uh, from our motor model library. Now, once we create, uh, once we generate that, uh, how, I mean, di uh, different modes of generations, how do we work is we have JMAG RT library manager, wherein you just import the FEA file and uh, specify some of the operating conditions in there, and then, uh, you know, uh, create the RTT file. Now this, once the RT file is generated, that can be, you know, basically shared with uh, circuit or control simulator uh, guys, which uh, they would want to use it in, in their operations. All right, uh, before moving a little bit further, as I said, you know, uh, JMEG RT block can be used in hardware in the loops uh, simulations, which connect a physical uh, ECU to a virtual motor. Uh, for example, uh, one of the examples you can see on my screen, uh, where a Typhoon Hill is uh, is a real time uh, model, uh, JMEG RT is created from the FEA and then imported into Typhoon. And detailed motor characteristics obtained by JMEG can be simulated on control simulator at the same speed as uh, when an ideal motor. Uh, you know, in one of the control simulator examples we are showing here. Uh, you can also use JMEG RT in in uh, those conditions. And it, uh, some of the um, partners JMAG uh, or uh, JMAG can be JMAG RT can be incorporated in. Um, as you can see on my screen, pretty much we work with a lot of uh, SIL and HIL vendors out there. And today, uh, specifically, you're going to uh, see uh, some of the demonstrations and uh, presentations from uh, PSIM, Typhoon Hill on the hillside, and Gamma Technologies as well. 
Okay, uh, a quick introduction about um, how this uh, JMAG, uh, JMAG RT file is incorporated into Typhoon Hill. Basically, uh, again, FEA model is creates a JMAG RT file that is directly imported into Typhoon, uh, as you can see here. Uh, of course, uh, you know, you will, you will see a detailed presentation uh, after mine. And then with respect to PSIM, uh, PSIM also can generate in different ways. One of the, one of the ways to look at it is uh, if you are um, basically working with a linear model, a linear block that is used, uh, basically we use JMAG Express to generate the RT model. In case of uh, direct coupling simulations, uh, we use uh, PSIM pack coupler block and uh, 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 to, to generate this RTT file. So in conclusion, uh, just to give an overview uh, of uh, what JMAG RT is all about, one of the challenges in motor, and control, uh, motor simulation control is uh, parameter variation due to saturation. Using lookup table is one of the key, keys to handle this challenge. JMAG RT provides lookup tables made from JMAG Designer. Uh, JMAG RT brings same accuracy with JMAG Designer into system level simulations as well, as we have seen. JMAG RT can uh, be used in multiple platforms that improves the traceability of development process. Okay, so uh, we will quickly go ahead and switch over to look at some of the demonstrations. As, as I said, you know, JMAG RT or the RTT file uh, or the lookup table or 1D lookup table uh, is, can be created uh, several ways. One of the uh, ways is on, on our website, jmaginternational.com slash express, you can go to start using <clears throat> JMAG Express online. And of course, you need to register for your login credentials. When, once you register, you, you get access to your uh, Express online version. And you do have uh, Express off offline version as, as I'm showing on my screen right now. And the online version, you can go into pretty much any of the template which is already available. Either you can build a combination uh, based on some of the rotor stator, uh, commonly used rotor stator uh, combinations here, or you can also, uh, you know, select one of the, um, let's see, uh, one of the um, uh, templates which is which are already available. And once you go in there, uh, JMAG RT, uh, I mean JMAG Express gives you options to basically vary your motor model based on your design, either based on your requirement or based on some of the dimensions, material data, winding and drive conditions that you can, in, uh, that you can just uh, insert in and change it. Now today's scope is to look at how you can uh, generate an RT model uh, from uh, Express. Uh, it's a very easy task to do. So you can just go here and you have uh, create a, a, J, a JMAG RT model. You can just click on this and uh, once you click on this, you can just press OK, and it just starts to create your um, RT um, model. And then once it is created, it will save it, and uh, you can just go ahead and uh, you know uh, take that RTT file and give it to either your you know HIL or SIL uh, simulations. And the same is the case with offline version as well. The online version is free of cost. Offline version also comes with the designer package uh, as a, uh, as a uh, um, free additional tool. Um, let's see. And then going back, okay, here it is there. I go to user data. And then once I go to user data, you can, you can see your RTT file, which is created here. You can just go ahead and download and uh, that, that lookup table is available to share. And one of the other things is, uh, you know, this is uh, created from Express, um, but you can also create the same from uh, Designer for which I will quickly show a demo, uh, keeping the time in view. Uh, let me share my screen for the video, where in, okay, so, here is a quick demo of how you can create from JMAG Designer. A, and this, this one is called as RT Library Manager, wherein you can uh, go ahead and uh, pretty much uh, input your operating uh, parameters. Um, and then you can, once you create the model, the output will be an RT, RTT file uh, like this. Now we can do a uh, very, uh, very dedicated demo for uh, 
to show you how we can generate RTT file. But uh, for, for this session, I, I just kept it uh, uh, shorter. But uh, how to incorporate uh, the operating points and uh, you know how you can uh, modify certain things inside of uh, uh, RT generation module, we can have, uh, we will definitely come back with you to show a full fledged uh, demo uh, with that. All right, let me switch back to my slide deck here real quick. Okay. Now, once the RT, RT file is uh, created, obviously, you know, if uh, if you want to see um, if you want to see, okay, what what does this RTT file contain? You do have uh, JMAC RT viewer where you can just drop down uh, the RT file. You can just drag drop, or you can just go to file and open. I uh, and uh, select the file. So I already selected it. So pretty much once you go here, you will find the motor info, uh, which has been used to generate this RTT file and several uh, operating conditions that were used to um, use to generate this RTT file. Now, after that, you can also, uh, you know, extend it to uh, input your inverter ratings and generate uh, to see how your speed torque or a speed torque curve looks or efficiency map looks. So here is, uh, here is what I generated uh, real quick. And uh, of course, I, may not be the exact uh, uh, voltage and uh, max current values here, but it, this is just to give you an idea of how you can uh, use uh, JMAC RT viewer to look at the RTT file data. All right, so these are different ways of uh, generating an RT file. And uh, if I go back to my slide deck here, um, we just spoke about that. In, and then the next uh, uh, topic uh, I would like to introduce uh, is, you know, uh, we are, now we have seen that how we can generate the RTT file, which is a, you know, a high fidelity plan model or a 1D lookup table, which incorporates pretty much all the uh, mot um, uh, motor data, um, you know, incorporating your uh, saturation uh, and uh, slot harmonics. And uh, now, uh, we, we are handing it over to control simulators and then uh, HIL uh, system level simulation. So first I would like to hand, hand it over to Alfred uh, Albert from uh, uh, Powerson. Uh, Al Albert Dunford is a, a power electronics application engineer at Powerson. After completing his degree in applied science at uh, University of uh, British Columbia, uh, Albert worked in the industry for nine years before joining uh, Powerson. Since joining Powerson, Albert has worked to provide PSIM users with unmatched technical support for power converter and motor drive design. Albert's webinars and tutorial videos have over, uh, you know, close to 500k total views on subjects ranging from, uh, you know, power converter design and stability to motor drives and embedded code generation. Uh, I'm sure you you guys will enjoy uh, what, uh, Albert's presentation and. Uh, with this, I will pause here for a couple of minutes. If you do have any questions or, or you know, uh, throughout the course of uh, this entire session, uh, myself, Alfred, and, uh, you know, Peter from Typhoon Hill and also Joe from uh, GT Suite will be available at any point in time to answer any of your questions uh, as you see how this JMAG RT uh, workflow uh, seamlessly integrates with PSIM and then uh, Typhoon Hill and then GT Suite. All right, perfect guys. And then I will turn it over to uh, Albert and we need to probably go ahead and uh, uh, switch to a different session. Uh, for that, I can give a couple of uh, seconds here. Thank you. Okay, uh, if we don't have any question, I propose we will go ahead and switch it over to Albert. Thank you all. 